Noah, just releasing these images uh, that over Texas, actually, during the state's tornado outbreak on February 14th. Yeah, you can see the lightning in and near Houston in real time in this clip. And look how smooth the lightning is, too, right? And you see the cloud tops as well. The clarity of the clouds is spectacular on this. All right, let's uh, go ahead and bring in uh, a gentleman who's going to talk all about this nice new toy that we have for us. This is Scott Rodlowski. Sorry about that, uh, Scott. What is the geostationary lightning mapper and how does it work? Well, good morning, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my excitement about this new instrument. Uh, it's the first instrument of its kind. It continuously detects both the cloud to ground lightning and intra cloud lightning across the Americas and the adjacent oceans. And it's able to do this by observing the light that's emitted at the cloud top. Mm, and wow. what, what's really remarkable is that the lightning's observed and within 20 seconds, that information is in front of forecasters. Wow, <laughs> that so is quick. So what is the forecaster looking for in this case? Are they looking for increases in lightning, potentially giving us better lead time to tornado genesis? Uh, that's, yes, that's correct. So the frequency and intensity of the lightning provides insights into the strength or the intensity of thunderstorms. and so. Oftentimes you'll have a rapid increase in lightning about 20 minutes before you have severe weather at the surface. And so the forecaster can use that and it really increases their ability to issue warnings faster. And what other aspects of severe weather does NOAA want to understand better from these images? So in addition to the severe storm warnings, it'll really help, especially out over the oceans, it'll help planes know where to fly and ships know where to sail. And over, over uh, the United States, it'll really help us to better identify lightning igni ignited wildfires sooner. Is this going to help us in hurricanes too? We still have an issue yeah. with intensity uh, in hurricanes, yeah. and this is now a new toy we get to use in that process. That's correct. Yeah, there's a lot of research going into that as well. Uh, lightning can provide insights into the rapid intensification of, of hurricanes as well.